Amal Kumar and here is a challenge question on ratios and percent for you. The question is, number of seats in grade 9, 10 and 11 are in the ratio of 5 is to 7 is to 8. These seats are increased by 40%, 50% and 75% respectively. That means grade 9 seats are increased by 40%, grade 10 by 50% and grade 11 by 75% respectively. Find the ratio of seats after they have been increased. So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, try the question and then look into my suggestion. Now we'll do this with the help of combination of ratios in person. What are we given? So we are given the grade 9 students is to grade 10 students is to grade 11 students. The ratio in number of students is 5 is to 7 is to 8. That is what we are given. The second thing which we are given is this ratio will change if we increase their numbers. So what we are doing here is we are increasing each increased by grade 9 students are increased by 40 percent, grade 10 are increased by 50% and grade 11 students are increased by 75%. Okay, so that is the increase in number of each. For example, if we have 100 students in grade 9, then they become 140, increased by 40%, higher. Okay, so already plus 50, 40% more. How do you get that number? Let me write increased number now. Right, so we have increased number of students. So that increased number will be you have to multiply this number by 1.40 because it has been increased by 40 percent. Right, so it is 5 times 1.40. Here, this number will be 7 times 1.50, and this number will be 8 times 1.40. 7, 5. Do you understand increased by meaning? So let me give you an example. Let us say we have uh, 60 students. I'm just taking an example. Okay. And if I do increase by 40%, right? So 40% of 60 is what? So that means you have to multiply by 0. 0.4. 4 times 6 is 24, right? So we get 40% is 24 students. So you'll get 60 plus 24 which is 84 students correct so that is one way of doing it alternate method is you could multiply 60 by 1.4 do you see that 1.40 it does same thing right so when you do 6 times 4 is 24 and 6 times 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 so you can always use calculator and verify these answers right so what is 60 times 1.4 equals to 84 right you get exactly the same answer right so these are two methods to find increased numbers when you are increasing by a person right so i hope that makes it clear this step right so let's calculate what these values are so we have 5 times 1.4 which is equals to 7 right so this number increases from 5 to 7 right now here we have 7 times 1.5 it is equals to in decimals 10.5 so this number is 10.5 the last number here is 8 times 1.75 that is 14 so we get a 14 number here so now the increased ratio is 7 is to 10.5 is to 14 now whenever we talk about ratios we should convert them to whole numbers so what we will do here is this is equivalent ratio we'll write equivalent ratio we can find equivalent ratio here by times it by 2 every term here okay every term so that gives us 7 times 2 is 14 10.5 20 and 1 21 and 14 times 2 is 28 so we get new ratio as 14 is to 21 is to 28 now can you simplify it yes we can let us simplify this 
we can simplify by dividing all by 7. 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28. So the increased ratio will be 2 is to 3 is to 4. You get an idea? So that's our answer. So our answer is that the increased ratio for grade 9, grade 10 and grade 11 students will be 2 is to 3 is to 4. Correct? So that is how you can do this question. I hope these steps are interesting and they probably give you a good idea of how to combine ratios in person and uh, solve applications like this one we have here. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.